to my channel but before anything make sure this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and turn the if i when i upload so this thing about the title and thumbnail today i'm gonna be giving you guys 10 signs of a healthy relationship yes i said healthy not toxic so let's get started so i got my 10 right here my 10 right here so this is actually a good video because it's healthy you know healthy relationships and we love healthy relationships so the first one says comfortable pace if you're in a relationship and you're going at a pace that you enjoy and you're comfortable with and you're like okay this is comfortable i like where this is going i like how this is smooth going smoothly and going with the flow so that means you're in a good relationship number two trust when there is trust in a relationship, that's the biggest thing in a relationship. Just to let you guys know, if there's no trust in a relationship, it's like, you guys are not going to go nowhere. It's just toxic because there's no trust. If there's love, but there's no trust, how are you expecting? Don't worry about that person if there's no trust. Three, honesty. In a relationship, you should be honest. And without honest, it's just like, the whole relationship is a lie. Like, you get in a relationship and you lie how's that person supposed to like believe what you say like if someone said i love you and you lie about it how are they supposed to believe that you actually love them so remember that number four independence i think what this means is that when you're both able to be your own individual person in the relationship instead of being because i think in a relationship you're like one whole person but if you're able to maintain both individual like you have your own lifestyle your partner has their own lifestyle then you're good because it's like okay i'm me and him or her is your partner whoever they are is their own individual person and you can maintain each other being individual even though you guys will be you guys will are one then you guys are good because you don't have to be worrying okay you don't have to be worrying that, okay, I can't depend on him, I can't depend on her. We depend on each other because depending on people is just like, you can't really depend on nobody. That's all I gotta say because it's like, okay. Because when it ends, then you're not going to be able to be on your own. You're going to be snobbing and sobbing about like, oh my gosh, I can't do this without the person. So yeah. Five, respect. In a relationship, there should be respect. He or she should respect their partner. If not, then you gotta cut, 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 cut the ties. Cut the ties. Because without respect, it's just like, you're gonna be respected throughout the relationship and the only person that's gonna be hurting is you. Because you decided to stay in a relationship that has no respect whatsoever, okay? Number six, equality. You guys have to both be equal. It's, there, it's not 50-50. It's 100-100. But at the same time, it's like if this person can put a hundred in, and this person can only put in. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Okay, it's a hundred and hundred, um, and if this person cannot put in full hundred, and they only can put in ninety five, the other person puts in the other five percent, and that make a whole hundred. So no fifty fifty. There's no such thing as fifty fifty. It's a hundred a hundred. Full on a hundred. Like I said, you gotta motivate each other. The seventh one, compassion. I think in a relationship there should be compassion. Because when you both have compassion, it's like you guys are want to be in a relationship. But there's no compassion. I don't think it's like having your passion, you find your passion, you like what you do, okay. But in a relationship, I think you have to have passion for being in a relationship if that makes any sense i don't know what compassion compassion is like your feelings towards the person towards the relationship if you have any idea comment down below and let me know and i'll respond to your comments but i think that's what it is eight take your responsibility okay okay this is what we need to talk about because nobody's ready for this conversation at all this is why most relationships fail 100% fail. Okay. Take your responsibility for what you did wrong, okay? For example, if this person did something wrong and the other person, the partner, figures it out, 
this person wants to play the victim when in reality the other person is the victim and they're not taking full responsibility for what they did wrong or what they said wrong or stuff like that anything that's wrong that just shows that this person is not going to take responsibility for his doings her doings wrong right whatever the case is so it's better to cut ties with people like that nine loyalty i think loyalty is a big thing in a relationship because you could love somebody but still still have them in the back so loyalty is a big part of it yeah i think 21 savage said that so yeah and last one 10 communication communication is a big part in a relationship which nobody's ready for that conversation the thing could turn into like Sorry, my phone blowing up. <laughs> um, communication is a big thing in a relationship because without communication, how are you supposed to know how the person is feeling or why is the person acting like this? Without communication, it's just like, it's not gonna go anywhere, but nobody's ready for that because nobody's mature enough to discuss what's going on, discuss a problem, get to a solution. And yeah, so if there's communication in the relationship, that's 100% okay if you both can maintain a conversation and try to get through something you guys are all right you guys are perfectly in a healthy relationship if not cut ties with the person period all right all right if you guys enjoy this video make sure this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and turn on the notification bell if i when i upload and i'll catch you guys in my next video